USA is testing their new literal combat ship LCS-25 of world's most powerful. The United States Navy continues to modernize its military fleet by replacing aging ships with new ones. Just recently, the construction of the new literal combat ship LCS-29 the future USS Beloit was started by contractor Lockheed Martin and Fincantieri Marinette Marine. This event was marked by a keel-laying ceremony in Marinette, Wisconsin. The literal combat ship LCS is a set of two classes of relatively small surface vessels designed for operations near shore by the United States Navy. It was envisioned to be a networked, agile, stealthy surface combatant capable of defeating anti-access and asymmetric threats in the literals. Literal combat ships are comparable to the corvettes found in other navies. The first literal combat ship, USS Freedom, was commissioned on 8 November 2008 in Veterans Park, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The second ship, the Trimaran USS Independence, was commissioned on 16 January 2010, in Mobile, Alabama. In 2012, CNO Jonathan W. Greenert stated that the LCS would be deployed to Africa in place of destroyers and cruisers. In 2013 and 2014, the Navy's requirement for LCS ships was progressively cut from 55 to 32 vessels in favor of a proposed frigate more capable of high-intensity combat. In late 2014, the Navy proceeded with a procurement plan for enhanced versions of the LCS and upgraded older ships to meet the program's 52-ship requirement. The modified LCS will be redesignated as FF or frigate. Under contract with the U.S. Navy, Lockheed Martin and Fincantieri Marinette Marine commenced construction of the LCS-29 on July 22, 2020. The event was marked by a keel-laying ceremony, which entails the initials of the sponsor to be welded onto a metal keel plate. This plate will be then affixed to the ship while it is commissioned. Thus, at the keel-laying ceremony of the LCS-29, the initials of ship sponsor Major General Marsha M. Anderson, U.S. Army, retired, was welded on the keel plate by a shipyard worker at Marinette. Anderson is the first African-American woman to become a Major General in the U.S. Army and U.S. Army Reserve. She served as the clerk of the Bankruptcy Court, Western District of Wisconsin, until she retired late 2019. Anderson is a native of Beloit, Wisconsin, the city in which LCS-29 will be named. Bound to be the 29th literal combat ship of the U.S. Navy and the 15th in the Freedom class, LCS-29 will be named after Beloit to honor the contributions the city has made to the U.S. Navy, especially the engines produced at the Fairbanks Morse factory. In 
In September 2018, the U.S. Navy inked a contract for the construction of the LCS-29 to Lockheed Martin and Fincantieri Marinette Marine. A Freedom Class LCS features a modular design that makes it flexible enough to take on new capabilities. It boasts a speed of more than 40 knots and hull made of high-strength, low-weight steel. LCS-29 is now of one of six littoral combat ships in various stages of construction at the Fincantieri Marinette Marine Shipyard. To date, nine Freedom-class LCS have been commissioned, three are being fitted out while the rest are under construction or on order. The U.S. Navy plans to have around 40 LCS, both Freedom and Independence classes, in its fleet.